Hi, very good morning. I'm Vishnu Supramaniam from javaslabs.ai. Uh, I'm going to talk about our product called Javas Cloud, which is a one-click GPU cloud platform. I've been doing deep learning for last few years, and I've faced a couple of challenges while spinning a few missions in some of the major cloud providers. I built Javas Cloud with the aim of being so simple and affordable that I want deep learning professionals who start with deep learning or who, who participate in Kaggle competitions to focus on DL and not really worry about the infra required for deep learning. Let's say you want to do Kaggle competition, you start with one single GPU and you want to scale up to three, four, eight, you can, you should be able to do it in few clicks and you don't need to be really a devops expert or a cloud expert or you don't need to spend hours or days to scale your infra right with that thing in mind uh, we build javas cloud and some of our early adopters have really loved the platform saying that let's quickly uh, go and see the product how it works so you can have a first hand feel of javas cloud So let's click the spin your first instance now, which should take the Jarvis Cloud platform. Uh, I've already signed in. If you have not signed in, if you have not signed up, then I would request you to sign up. Once you sign up, right, the first screen that you would see is this, uh, or I would say this is the most important screen of Jarvis Cloud. And there are a few options that you can choose from before you click the launch button. Like you can choose the framework of choice that you want. We currently support PyTorch, FastA, TensorFlow. These are the major frameworks, um, popular frameworks right now. And you can choose the number of GPUs you want. You can start with one and can go up to eight. And you can choose the GPU type. We currently support RTX 5000, 6000, and 800 is coming soon. Probably by the time you watch this video, we should have 800. And you can also adjust the amount of hard disks that is required to create the instance. Once you've chosen all these things, you can hit the launch button. When you hit the launch button, we create a new instance for you with a lot of useful libraries like Jupyter Notebook, Python, PyTorch latest version, or, or the specific set version, and the CUDA, all the CUDA, uh, commonly used tools like matplotlib, pandas, pre-installed in your, container or in your remote instance so you can just get started with deal okay so in less than 15 seconds as you can see that we have a running instance and there are some metadata information like how much ram how much hard disk is allocated to it and uh, there are four important things that is primarily shown here. One is how you can search into that mission if you want to use your command terminal, command line terminal, or if you want to use a VS code, you can use this. This comes very handy. Let's say if you are a fan of Jupyter Lab and you want to use that, then it's straight away. Click this button. It takes you to Jupyter Lab. Let's quickly uh, check if the GPU has been allocated to us. So we can do that by saying NVIDIA hyphen SMI. Okay, we can see an RTX 5000 card has been allocated to us, which comes with a 16 GB of virtual RAM. And the system itself comes with a 32 GB of RAM and seven cores, which should be uh, good to start with. And what else can we do from this page, right? Once you're done with some of your work, you can click this button and you can pass. You can either do this or you can do another key thing called uh, programmatically pass your workstation. So what happens? How 
we developers or we deep learning researchers end up using a cloud platform we want to train our model for let's say 50 epochs or probably we want to train the model till the loss gets converged and if the loss is not getting converged for let's say five or six epochs or if there's a graded explosion happening then we want to pass the image right uh, what happens when i was doing a couple of kaggle competitions is i uh, run some of the instances in some of the cloud providers and i have to get up at uh, late nights to make sure that my program is running and my loss is getting converged and if it's not then i have to try a new idea or i have to pass the mission right or i end up paying a few dollars to the cloud provider when i not used it right so to solve that we have come up with something called uh, programmatically uh, pass your mission that you can tell us when you want to pass how you do it is by calling Jarvis cloud dot pass let's execute this once you execute the instance gets into a pass mode let's verify if it has worked by going to this and by hitting the refresh button okay uh, as you see this thing is getting refreshed right or you can wait for some time while it gets auto refreshed and this can go this will go into the past instances okay as you can see the mission has been passed now completely from programmatic or you can you could have just pressed the pass button and this could have been passed okay uh, or if you say you're done with the uh, instance you don't want to use it anymore then you can press quickly this delete button. Or let's say you want to uh, scale up the machine. You want more hard disk or you want to increase the number of GPUs or you realize that the 16 GB memory it's not sufficient for your particular use case so what you want to do is you want to increase the either the hard disk or change the gpu type or change the number of gpus you can do that by pressing the setting button and changing any one of these right so the instance is completely configurable inside jarvis cloud let's say i want an instance with four gpus now i want to do something uh, more uh, crazier or i want to have my model converge faster right so I request Jarvis Cloud to give me an instance with four GPUs rather than the one which was created earlier. Of course, with all the data and the state still per persisted, right? I don't want to lose the data. So this will take another 15 to 20 seconds. Another 15 to 20 seconds, uh, we should have, yeah, it's ready now. Now let's click on the launch button as usual. And let's go and see if Jarvis Cloud was kind enough to uh, give us the required gpus right so what, what we'll do is we'll say watch nvidia hyphen smi okay wow and we have all the four uh, gpus we asked for we have it so now we can go ahead and do some training probably in the next video i'll show you how to exactly use these four gpus easily right what else can we do Now the simple thing that we can do is since we are done with it, we don't want to be built for the instance staying idle. Let's click on the destroy, right? Once you hit the destroy, we basically instruct Jarvis Cloud to delete the entire infra that was created exclusively for us. So all the data is gone. All the settings, all the installations that you have done is completely gone. So this is a handy feature you get when uh, you know that you screwed up an instance and you don't want that anymore or you're done with the project you want to start with a new version or you want to start with the new experiments you can do that the other common and critical features like uh, your account balance here and you can click that and which should sh let you uh, recharge your wallet or add your credit card if you have not had it you can either recharge one of these predefined amounts 10 20 50 100 dollars or you can click on a subscription okay well basically what it does is when your balance goes less than five dollars we end up uh, recharging your account with 
a particular denomination which you have selected using the particular card that you've chosen okay and what else we have here some small buttons that you can see here uh, one is this discussion okay uh, we are experimenting with github discussion for now we are also uh, also thinking of whether we should use discord here you can see the features that we are working on and if you think you have a better feature you can just comment it down below uh, we are a small team and we work really quick so hopefully we should be able to uh, add your feature or if there is a bug you can just put here you want to talk to us about something you can feel free to talk here okay and we also have a detailed documentation we believe the product has to be a simple where the documentation is not required but there are certain cases where you will need documentation like how do you have to have your how to add your search keys or let's say how to upload a large file into from your local mission right if you're coming uh, to a cloud platform for the first time these are a couple of things which are really useful and how do you pass the instance from the code and uh, we will update this documentation uh, as we go further so if you have any doubts you can also just click the chat option here and you can type your question and one of us will be happy to answer your questions as soon as we see and which generally is a few minutes to few hours not more than that and there are some faqs here you can click here you will find some commonly asked questions and then you can here see here api keys the sign out the normal thing so that's it go ahead and sign up to Jarvis Cloud Platform, you can do that by uh, visiting our website jarvislabs.ia. I hope you love the platform. If you have any comments or suggestions, either you can comment down below in the comment section or you can write about your feedback or your bugs or your new feature request in the GitHub discussions available here. Thank you. Bye-bye.